Have you ever heard of the Bell Curve book? It's actually my favorite book out there. Its underlying theme is life is based on meritocracy. And what has more merit than poker? A winner-take-all game of life. The losers live under the bridge and the winners live in the penthouse. Simple enough. Apparently not. It turns out we need the professor of race, the IQ expert, to write a book on the subject of poker from the Brunson era to the GTO theory, which is all the rage today. His name is Charles Murray. As I said, he wrote the Bell Curve book. He co-wrote it. And he's been in town. He's been in Las Vegas over the Thanksgiving holidays, playing at the uh, Bellagio, and he's collecting intel for his analysis on his poker book. Now, most of the brilliant poker players of the world know that I have created the industry's most complete and most accurate documentary on the GTO poker scam that is all the rage today. I mean, and if you have not watched it, like Mr. Murray has, I recommend that you do. Now, having said all that, I am not the only poker expert that Mr. Murray is learning from. No, he has sent out a series of emails. Yes, he is reaching out to every Ashkenazi poker expert within a 500-mile radius of Las Vegas to help him write his book. Of course, I am not Ashkenazi, so I my name cannot be mentioned in the book officially, but that's neither here nor there. Let's proceed with the current events. So it turns out that Sam Greenwood felt slighted. Yes, he did not get the email from Charles Murray. Apparently, Sam is not on the list of Ashkenazi Jewish poker players that Charles wants to talk to. So who exactly did Charles reach out to? Well, it looks like they're not all Ashkenazi. We do have a few Sephardic names in here. But let's go down the list of some of the names. Oh, Mike the Mouth. Yes, he is definitely on the list, and he definitely lives within a 500-mile radius of Las Vegas. Maybe uh, Charlie will be heading to L.A. to pick up some other names, like, you know, some tips from Barry Greenstein. Greenstein. Anyhow, my main goal was to clear up that rumor that you had to be Ashkenazi. But no, you can be Sephardic also. Yes, Eric Seidel is on the list. But I cannot confirm that Scheinberg was located. He is a recluse in uh, Canada. Very hard to get a hold of. So apparently you have to go through Daniel Negreanu. If you want to find Scheinberg and get his opinion... You know, it's something about being from Toronto or something like that, but uh, you've, they're trying to get a hold of Daniel Negreanu as we speak, and then, you know, we'll go from there.